You're watching Inside Punch on InsidePunch.com. I'm Kimberly Sargent here at Wild Bill's Fight Night, where MMA and boxing is set to collide. Let's check out all the action. I'm here with main event fighter Jeremy Wallace. You've got a big matchup tonight against Adam DeHart out of the Carolinas. And a unique thing about this is he actually called you out. Talk us through that. Yeah, actually, it was his manager who called me out. Um, I think they got a target on Knuckle Up, and they got a target on Georgia Fighters. So, you know, I answered the call. So I'm here to see what's up. Well, you've been making things happen, definitely on a win streak. How did you train differently for this fight than you have some of the others in the past? Well, actually, I've trained very hard for this fight, probably harder than ever. Um, a lot of clinch work with Dave, a lot of takedown defense with, uh, like, Tex and Dr. Chris and uh, Ant Tink, Tut, Jim, just everybody, my whole knuckle-up team. Well, I know, actually, I've been talking to Stephen Upchurch, and he said something unique about how you are forced to train is actually you're getting it all in at one time. So most fighters out there do a training session in the morning and then cardio at night, but according to your schedule, you can't do that. So you have to do three-hour training sessions at one time. How hard is that? Uh, it can be very hard sometimes, depending on if I've been busy all day and then go and try to do it. But for the most part, it's not as hard as it seems. Um, I'm used to going like seven and a half on some days, so three hours is kind of nothing. Depends on how I'm feeling earlier through the day. <laughs> I won't tell Coach that he said that's nothing because we're going to put you through eight and a half next time. <laughs> well, this, this fight actually means a lot to you. Something happened today. So who do you want to dedicate this fight to? I want to dedicate this fight to Catherine Swain, a good friend of mine. She passed this morning about um, 1 o'clock Georgia time, 1 a.m. And I uh, dedicate to my aunt who also passed last weekend. So, you know, I'm just here to do it for them. Best of luck. Thanks. I'm here with main event fighter Adam DeHart, all the way from the Carolinas to Georgia. Of course, an underdog. You're always an underdog when you come to Atlanta to make things happen. How are you feeling about this fight? Well, I mean, I don't really feel like I'm an underdog. Uh, I mean, you know, I've looked at the guy I'm fighting's record. He's only fought bums. So, I mean, you know, we'll see if he really wants to fight after this one. Well, I've heard that you called him out, then I heard that your manager called him out, and then we, we don't know. So Jeremy's either way excited and enthusiastic about this fight. Did anybody call anybody out or this fight just happened? I mean, I just took the fight five days ago. <laughs> so, I, you know, I mean, my training partner had, uh, you know, he hurt his elbow. You know, he's injured, so I was happy to step forth. Well, best of luck. Any type of game plan, obviously, this isn't going to be shown before, and we've already talked to him. Any type of game plan you have for this that? I bring the pain, you know. I mean. I love to ask predictions. How do you see this fight ending? Me with getting my arm raised, just like last time I was in Atlanta. Best of luck. Thank you. I am here with Cornbread, as they like to call you, from the Carolinas. You are the Hearts manager. I just talked to Wallace, and he said you're actually the one that called Wallace out. Adam didn't call Wallace out, so talk to me about that. Who? Oh. Uh, who? I, who's Wallace? You know who he is. No, I don't. You talk, oh, you're talking about DR's opponent tonight? Yes, that's who I'm talking about. All right. Nah, I don't remember calling him out. I hardly even think about him. Well, then how did he – so how is there a confusion? Because he said – because I thought Adam called him out, and then he said that you you have a vendetta against maybe Knuckle Up, and you, you have it out for them, or, or how does that work? How, how could I have a vendetta against a team that we're 3-0 and against? I mean, we, we beat them pretty brutally. I don't understand what the vendetta is. Actually, the way the fight came about was uh, we needed an opponent for Ricky Rainey so he could get to 5-0 and going into the XFC in August. So I found somebody from Knuckle Up because I figured it would be an easy win. An easy win. Okay, so I want to hear a prediction. I love to hear predictions when people think it's already going to be an easy win for him. So how do you predict this fight going? Um, it's going to be three rounds of hell for Jeremy Wallace. Promise you. All right. No KO. No submission. Three rounds of hell. Three rounds of hell. Guaranteed. That's three right after two in case you're from Georgia. I'm here with Jason Weeks from X3. He's actually the physician, takes care of all the team guys. He's already adjusted me. I'm feeling good. So tell me a little bit about the importance of chiropractic care and all the good stuff that you do with X3. All right. Um, obviously, MMA is a uh, high collision, uh, high impact uh, sport, both in training, um, 
and in competition. My role with X3 is to keep their fighters healthy um, as they train and uh, be as physically prepared um, to be as competitive as possible when they go to compete. I've heard I should go once a week, I've heard twice a week, I've heard once a month. What do you recommend for someone that trains and someone that doesn't train? Well, that varies. I mean, obviously, I'm uh, when I'm working with MMA athletes that are getting nicked up and, and, and uh, getting all the bumps and bruises that go with being prepared to compete in such a uh, combative sport, I'm seeing a lot of those guys sometimes daily. Um, it depends on you know what they're uh, what they're training for um, and what kind of injury they have. It varies injury to injury. I see a lot of these guys on a uh, on a wellness basis to, to try to keep them tuned up. So there's kind of a rehab component to what I do as well as a performance enhancement. Um, the performance enhancement guys I see probably a couple times a week. The injury guys are guys that I'm seeing until we get them better and they're ready to go back to, to compete it, uh, you know, as, as optimally as they can. Perfect. Well, for those that haven't got a chance to see you and experience what I got to experience today, how could they get in contact with you? CobbPainAndRehab.com uh, um, and the number is 678-471-1292. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. I'm here with the winner, Adam D. Hart. Second round, rear naked choke. How does it feel? Feels amazing, you know, going up in a weight class uh, and winning like that feels great. He's a tough opponent. Yeah, I mean, he was undefeated, so obviously going into any match knowing the other opponent is undefeated, it's obviously something mental that you have to fight through, and you just took him on. I mean, I fought a lot of undefeated guys, you know. A record is just a record, you know. It's not. It's completely different whenever you step in the cage and there's another person or the ring, somebody else in front of you, you know. And you talked about it before. You took this fight on very, very last minute notice, five days notice. I mean, do you always stay prepared cardio-wise just in case? Always. I run six miles to the gym at least three times a week. Well, congratulations. Anyone you want to thank out there? Uh, I want to thank God first and foremost, you know. I give all the glory to him. I'll thank my parents for putting up with so much shit when I was growing up. I'll thank my coaches, Michael Allen and Phil Wills. I mean, my teammates, my training partners, all the fans at Wild Bills, everybody that came to see the fight. I just love my job. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Inside Punch on InsidePunch.com. I'm Kimberly Sargent. Thanks.